had three kindergarten classes with about 20 kids in each class. Um, our current enrollment right now for the incoming year is 55 students. So each morning the bell rings at 8.55 and the kids come in to unpack. Uh, they all have their independent cubby spaces, so obviously we teach organization skills, self-help skills, building that independent practice um, daily. The beginning of the school year is packed full of practicing routines and procedures so the kids feel comfortable and they know what to expect every day when they come to school. Start the day with the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag, lunch count, attendance, all those procedural things that are taken care of in the first 10 minutes of school. Every classroom usually has jobs for the kids and the kids empower themselves as much as possible. We empower the kids to take control of their classroom as much as possible. Every morning in kindergarten they start with their morning meeting, sing songs, practice the calendar, lots of math built into the morning meeting routines. The teacher usually does a secret sentence morning message that gradually becomes the role of the students as the year progresses. The teacher starts off the year introducing those skills and routines and we gradually release those routines to the kids. Writing is, believe it or not, a big part of kindergarten. Um, we start the year focusing mostly on sounds, letters, uh, building the, the what we call the phonological awareness. So everything is rooted in oral language. So continue to read out loud to your students, your children, um, building that language, that vocabulary, hearing the letter sounds, knowing those letters, uh, and usually by mid-fall, Second marking period, we start transferring those sounds to letters and text and always developing those fine motor skills that I know incoming kindergartners so desperately need still. How to cut with scissors, how to hold a pencil, uh, and it's amazing how quickly they develop those skills, but we help them along the way. It's incredible to see the growth in their writing um, from the beginning of the school year where they knew very little how to form letters to where they are now, um, writing multiple sentences, sometimes even more than one page. So we celebrate that success and, and watching them grow. You can see the students are usually grouped in, in groups, um, building those cooperation skills and how to work together, build friends, their social skills. That's all part of kindergarten. It's not just academics, but it's growing those uh, those social skills that are so important as they grow to older students. Snack time is usually mid-morning. Um, we are very careful about our snacks. We have a lot of students with allergies, so that is always on our mind. Um, but we do encourage healthy snacks in the morning. So the kids have snack time to get them through to lunch, which is usually a little bit after noon. Small group time is so vital and is going to be a big part of your child's day and learning. Uh, we have a new core program that's being introduced called Wonders next year. The, the teachers were trained in explicit multi-sensory phonemic awareness teaching this year, so they are looking forward to the new core program. And the small groups are always flexible, constantly changing based on the needs of the kids, but they work for about 15 to 20 minutes with the teacher while the other students are in center time. So once again, we, we work at the beginning of the year developing the sounds, identifying the sounds at the beginning of words before we even look at books, before we even look at text. So sounds to text, sound to text. And while the teacher's working in the small groups, the kids are in their center times working with either independently on um, applying the learned skills or cooperating and collaborating with a classmate and once again learning how to, to play together and work together at the same time. So the teachers design a lot of fun centers, hands-on manipulatives and the kids don't realize it but they're learning as they play. And they have a great time in the reading corner and every classroom has a, a wonderful cozy reading corner that I always want to go read in myself. So during this time, even though the, the teacher might be working with literacy skills in their small group, the students are practicing both literacy and math skills while they are working independently.
So this is usually going on between 9.15 and about 12 o'clock in the morning. So a lot of language arts, reading, writing, sound work, letter work, small group work um, before lunchtime. Lunch this year was about 12.15, so the students go to the cafeteria escorted by their teacher where they can either pack their lunch or buy their lunch. We have a, a very wide variety of healthy foods to choose from. The menu is always provided at the beginning of each month, so you can keep track of that. We have lots of cafeteria helpers, especially at the beginning of the year, to get the kids accustomed to the routines and the procedures in the cafeteria. They are seated by homeroom, but they can sit wherever they want within that table. And I get in there, obviously, as much as possible. Um, and we always have teacher assistants and parent volunteers as well. In the afternoon, of course, the favorite time of day is recess. Right now we have 20 minutes of recess built into the schedule, which is also a very important time of the day. Playing is a vital part of kindergarten um, and really all of elementary school because that's where students learn who they are, how to interact with their peers, how to troubleshoot and solve problems and work through conflicts. So that is all part of the learning process. I think we got some older kids in these pictures by accident. <laughs> or some really big kindergartens. So just seeing their smile on their faces, they, they really have a good time. It's a lot of work. We do expect a lot. We have high standards in kindergarten more than we ever have. And they work very hard, but we make it as fun as possible. We give them lots of breaks, both mental breaks, physical breaks. Um, there's no nap time in kindergarten, which is rough on some of them for the first couple of weeks of school. But honestly, it's probably harder on the teachers than it is on the kids. They adjust well, they get used to it, their bodies get used to it. Um, we certainly send them home tired, so we don't give much homework in reading. We just really encourage you guys to read to the kids every night. So after recess, they head to specials. They are escorted to and from their specials by their teacher. So they have every day a 45-minute special, either art, music, computer, gym class, and I'm forgetting one, art, music, computer, and library, of course. So every day, every five days a week, they have a specials class. the music classroom that those pictures are taken in. I am confident that your child will be happy, well taken care of, and grow more than you can ever imagine next year. We have a wonderful team of teachers, Mrs. Lausch, Mrs. Carrasco, and Mrs. Flores, and they are excited to have your children join them next year.